Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Muhammad Kamal Hussain, lecturer at Department of Mathematics, Scholars School and College, Dhanmoji Dhaka. Uh, my dear students, last few classes we have discussed the different types of angle from exercise 6.1. Then we have discussed is the parallel line base Q and CQs. And today I will discuss creative questions by using parallel lines. So hopefully today, inshallah, we will complete exercise 6.1. So my dear students, there are only 30 students connected with this live class. Please you can share this link or you can tag your friends to be connected with us. Within a short time, inshallah, we will start our class formally. Uh, this is the most important class today. We will solve some creative questions by using parallel line. So, first of all, say top line of the board, right side, left side, sound quality. Is it everything okay? Can we start our class formally? Yes, sir, everything uh, sound quality is low. Okay, uh, inshallah, and give attention to me. Hopefully, you can understand properly. Okay, my dear student, we will discuss the creative questions by using our regular content. This is the questions we can start from here, uh, like. CB and EF are two parallel lines or ray and number A, question number, we can start from here, uh, question, first question, question A, by using this content, what is the supplementary angle of What is the angle? What is the supplementary angle of BEF? Supplementary angle of BEF. This is the second question. What is the 
value of the angles formed by the formed by the line AB and Ray CD. What is the value of the angles formed by the line AB and Ray CD? What are they called? What are Number C is the question if the sector of angle C E F intersect CD at P then what are the values of what are the values of what are the values of four angles produced produced at the point at the point So, uh, my dear students, Dear students, uh, my dear students, and this is our questions. I think someone are doing the comments. The sound is low. So try to write down the questions from the board. Inshallah, we will discuss one by one. So uh, first of all, here the line CD and EF are two parallel lines. AB is their transversal. And then what is the what is the supplementary angle of D E F? What is the value of angles formed by the line A B and the ray C D? And what are they called? Number C if bisector of the angle C E F intersect C D at P then what are the value of four angles produced by produced at the point P so my dear students today we will discuss these creative questions first of all uh, you can write in the comment section how many students can do this question A B and C properly and you can also mention your name if you can do question number A and B 
that I will discuss as per as you demand. This is basically MCQ based question, but how we can write this one uh, in the writing format? Because this question mark is 10. The first question you will get two marks and then remaining B and C, they are equal four marks. So, and by using the parallel line concept, and already last few classes we have taken uh, MCQ part and by using the parallel line and different types of angle and today by using this parallel line we will discuss or we will solve these creative questions so my dear students you can write your name in the comment section how many students can do this one or if, is it possible to you to complete number A B and C. If possible, you can write the answer, question number A. I will discuss one by one your comments. And already you are writing in the comment section uh, E, F, E, C, E, J. So, uh, yes, so he will give you a C, E, F angle, C, E, F, yes, if you mention here angle, then you can write C, E, F, thank you, sir. Number A, F, E, C, sir, I can do, Khaleda, uh, Khaleda, thank you, sir. Lamiani also said number A, this answer will be number A answer. You are trying to comment here, number A. FEC, FEC is a supplementary angle of BEF. And you can also mention the degrees, and it will be 120 degree or 180 degree. Yes, Nusra Jan also said, you can do this one, thank you sir. The angle FEC is a supplementary angle. Definitely, is you have to answer this question by using concept of supplementary angle. So, A number question answer is absolutely right. How many students can do number B? Sir, you can mention your name if it is possible for you to complete for four months. How many students can do this one? You can mention your name in the comment section. We will discuss. Okay, uh, maximum student have right here the supplementary supplementary angle of B E F. First of all, you have to identify where is B E F angle. B E B E F angle mentioned here sixty degree, or you can write here F E B. This angle is sixty degree. And then supplementary angle B E F supplementary angle will be this one. In our last classes, we have said when the sum of two adjacent angles will be 180 degree or two right angles, then one angle is called the supplementary angle of others. So here B E C at the point E. We can see here a straight angle that is 180 degree and there are two angles in at the point E. So F E B if this one is 60 degree the remaining one will be 180 minus 60 that is 120 degree which is the supplementary angle of B E F. So, our answer will be here, question A, question, what is the supplementary angle of angle E, B, F? So, you can write the supplementary angle of, in the first question answer, answer A, answer, question number A, 
द सप्लीमेंटरी एंगल ऑफ बी ई एफ इज एफ ई सी एफ एफ ई सी एंड इट्स मेजर्स विल बी एंड यू कैन मैंशन हेयर 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 एफ ई सी एंगल विल बी वन हंड्रेड एटी वन हंड्रेड एटी माइनस सिक्सटी दैट इज वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी डिग्री एंड यू हैव टू राइट दिस आंसर बिकॉज द रिक्वायरमेंट इज द सप्लीमेंटरी एंगल ऑफ दिस वन इज टू मच क्वेश्चन सो इन द इन द फिगर यू कैन सी हेयर द एंगल मैंशन हेयर बी ई एफ इन डिग्री सिक्सटी डिग्री सो यू आंसर इन विल बी टू पार्ट द फर्स्ट पार्ट यू हैव टू आंसर द सप्लीमेंटरी ऑफ बी ई एफ हुई इज एफ ई सी then the second part as like as this degree you have to find the value of this supplementary angle which will be 120 degree now is it clear to all of you inshallah we will discuss second question question number b okay now my dear student give attention we will discuss the next question uh next question is here okay in the next question is also one of the most important question what is the value of angles formed by the line ab and the ray cd what are they called uh, there are two parts in the questions the first part you have to find the angles this is the first part A B and C D. A B and C D create how many angles here? In the ray A B or the line A B, create with C D ray the two angle. This is the first angle one. This is the second angle. Give attention. What is the value of the angles formed by the line A B? An A B line and C D ray. at the point c together make two angles we mentioned here this one is one angle and this is the second angle or you can write a small letter a and b or you can mention here x and y so there are two angles but the our requirement is what is the value and you have to find the value of angle b and angle a by using the concept of parallel line so first of all you have to find the angle a and angle b and then the requirement what are what are they called and you have to find their name why your answer will be 60 degree or 120 degree or 80 degree what is the reason behind this so first question we will answer then we will discuss question number c Uh, my dear students uh, this is the question we will discuss here the question number answer answer uh, this is the question number b sir no it's a sick you very low sound sir sound quality is not clear to you Uh, i think there is no problem i am also hearing with you by using another mobile phone so uh, we can write the answer here okay we can start our answer from here uh, this is the question number b answer we can start it what is the value of angle Uh, what is the value of angle b and angle okay you can write here the line ab line 
ए बी एंड रे सी डी द लाइन ए बी एंड रे सी डी द वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एंड लाइन ए बी एंड रे सी डी क्रिएट क्रिएट एंगल डी सी ई डी सी ई एंड डी सी ए डी सी ए एट द पॉइंट एट द पॉइंट सी एंड if we start the what is the value requirement you have to find the value in degrees so and what are they called i think the second part you have to include with here like b e f b e f angle is equal to corres corresponding angle dcf dcf so this angle is given here 60 degree so we can write here b e f we can write here dcf d c f angle equal 60 degree and this name is corresponding angle uh then another part here we can erase this line again again acd angle or dca dca angle is a supplementary angle of dce corresponding angle of d c sorry uh b e b e f is a corresponding angle of d c e so now again so this one will be d c e we have done here mistake okay d c e angle now again attention the line ab and cd create angle dce angle and dca angle these are the two angle angle b and angle a at the point c so now bef bef is the corresponding angle of d c d c e these are the two angle and they are the corresponding angle of each other they are corresponding angle because here ac line is a transversal and cd and ef both are parallel line this transversal eab intersect cd at the point c and ef at the point e so they are corresponding angle that's why we mention efd angle is corresponding angle of dce this angle mentioned in the question 60 degree so they are equal so remaining angle b e f uh, so d c e will be 60 degree this one angle is complete now just give attention angle a or c a d is the supplementary angle of this angle 
if this one is 60 degree this one will be 120 minus 60 sorry 180 minus 60 that is 120 so now we will write this angle ACD or DCA now you can write DCA is a supplementary angle of D C E so we can write the from the definition of supplementary angle we can write D C E angle equal 180 minus 60 degree uh, that is 120 degree so our first question answered our first question and second question we can write the proper answer here the first information their name will be this is the corresponding angle then second question name is will be supplementary angle and their measures will be 60 degree and 120 degree so my dear students uh, my dear students now we will discuss question number c uh, this is the answer the question number b answer here so now we will discuss the question number c dear students please do comments is it clear to you or not so i will discuss as far as your demand please do comments question number b answer is clear to you or not Yes, uh, I think one student said here. Uh, yes sir, it's very clear to you. Thank you. Abida, Bushir, and it's very clear. Rehanumata, Tasniya Nusra. Sir, I did not understand. Please explain again. Okay, question number B. You did not. Okay, I will discuss again. It's very easy, sir. Thank you. Ahna Priyan, sir. Clear, sir. I think. Okay, it should be DCA. Which one is DCA? Uh, D. C E angle is 60 degree and oh sorry D C A thank you sir D C A angle yes sir thank you D C A angle is a supplementary angle of D C E who said this one D C A Devo Pratim Chakravati Ras thank you sir for your correction this one will be D C A or you can write here A C D it's clear okay one student Khaleda Akhtar said sir repeat again okay give attention dear students the our requirement here the line AB uh, and ray CD or you can write here the ray AB and CD intersect each other at the point C and the requirement is find the value of the angle find the value of the angle a b and find the value of the angle formed at the point c by intersecting a b and c d and identify their name this is our questions so now we are trying to answer here first line we wrote here a b line and c d Ray intersect each other at the point C. We see there are two different angles. The first angle is D C E angle. Another one is D 
C A angle. And in our second part, the requirement was what are their name? What are their names? So we see here C D and E F. There are two parallel lines. AB is their transversal, intersect each other at the point C and E. So that's why we can say this angle ECD angle is a corresponding angle of BEF. These two angles both are corresponding angle by using concept of the parallel lines we can say they are corresponding angle. So if this angle is 60 degree, the corresponding angle will be 60 degree. We all know in a parallel line, corresponding angle are equal. So that's why this angle will be 60 degree. Uh, as far as question demand, you have to write the name of the angle, which is corresponding angle. They are corresponding angle. And the value of this angle will be 60 degree because its equal measures angle is 60 degree. Now another question and a second part here, the remaining angle ACD or DCA. This angle and we all know these two adjacent angles together make 180 degrees. If this angle is 60 degree, the remaining angle will be 180 minus 60 degree which is 120 degree and this is called the supplementary angle of 60 degree if in the mcq if you see uh, this like question like uh, the supplementary angle of 60 degree this one will be 120 degree supplementary angle of 120 degree is what 60 degree but sometimes we see in the example, the student mixed the two words, complementary angle and supplementary angle. Complementary angle is, little, uh, is always compared with 90 degree. Two adjacent angles together make 90. In the supplementary angle, two adjacent angles together make 180 degree. So if this angle is 60 degree, the supplementary will be 120 degree. But 60 degree complementary will be 30 degree. You have to properly understand this one, the difference between complementary and supplementary. Complementary means comp, that means you have to compare with 90. Supply means basic, then we will compare always 180. So this is our answer. The name of the angles will be supplementary angles and another one is corresponding angles. And their measures is 60 degree, this one, and this measures is 120 degree and this is our final answer another most important question we have question number c read question number c again and this is these types of questions you can answer class 6 and also in class 7 so there are also similar topics in the class 7 so dear students and read the questions again properly we will discuss now question number c Okay, we will discuss here the question number C. Uh, question number C, I think uh, now, dear students, let me review your comments first. Okay, sir, it's now clear to you. Inshallah, we will discuss our question number C. Do you didn't disturb? Okay, sir, I think, I, do you have any more question in question number B? Can you start our question number C here? Okay, my dear students, please read the question properly. Inshallah, we will discuss question number C. It's one of the most important questions. Uh, first of all, you have to understand what are the requirements here. Uh, if the bisector, and you have to know what is bisector. Bisector of angle E, C, E, F. 
intersect CD at the point P and how the line intersect and you have to know this too then the third part the how many angles four angles at the point at the point P and you have to find their values and this is our requirement the first information bisector of the angle and you have to find the bisector of the angle which intersect CD at the point P like if we see here a line uh, if this is a point P or uh, there is a point we can mention here the point A if we draw a line here which intersect the previous line at the point O how many angles we see here 1, 2, 3, 4 when two lines intersect each other we also see here four angles produced at the intersecting points so by using this concept we will answer these questions now read the questions again if the bisector, bisector means if this is an angle here bisector means if this angle is 60 degree like this angle is 60 degree we will bisect this one that means equally two part so if you draw a line in the middle point of the angle there will be 30 degree there will be 30 degree and together there are 60 degree so this is called the bisector of the angle that means the line bisect the angle this one if angle x another one if we mention here angle x equal uh, 90 degree like this is the angle x 90 degree if you bisect this angle if you bisect this angle then you have to divide this angle equally two parts by using pencil compass already you have done in the construction classes this each angle will be 45 degree and this is called the bisect of the angle so now give attention to our question number C question number C uh, you can write here question number C as far as the bisector of the angle CEF now you have to know where is the angle CEF this is the CEF angle and bisector of the angle bisector of the angle just equally divide here bisector of the angle we all know this angle is 120 degree because if this angle is 60 degree this angle will be 120 degree now 120 degree angle divided into two equal parts each one will be 60 degree again attention here this angle is 60 degree and so this remaining angle is 120 degree and if you bisect this 120 degree each angle will be 60 degree now 60 60 60 and together they will make a straight angle which is 180 degree now bisector of the angle CEF intersect CD at the point P intersect CD at the point so we can mention here bisector of the angle E uh, EF we can mention here EG line EG the line or ray you can mention here ray the ray EG bisect angle CEF that means this line equally divide this angle into two parts each angle will be 60 degrees so now this line EG intersect CD intersect CD at the point P this is intersect CD at the point P and then what is the value of four angles and how many angles we see here the first angle 
second angle, third angle, and the fourth angle. And then what are the values of four angles produced at the point P? So we see here at the point P, there are four different angles. And so we have to find their values in degrees. Question is clear to all of you. Now we will start our answer. So my dear students, I think question is clear to you. Now we will discuss answer, how to find the result. Okay. Let me explain now. Uh, the four angles, if this is the produce, uh, if this angle is 60 degree, uh, by from A, we can, from B, we can write here, this angle is 60 degree. By using triangle concept, we can write 60, 60, this angle will be 60 degree. In the another concept you can apply here, C, E, F, and C, D, two parallel lines, and E, G, transversal, intersect C, D at the point P. So if you consider the two parallel lines, you can also write if this angle is 60 degree, this one will be 60 degree because they are alternate angle. If this one is 60 degree, this one is 60 degree. So already we know from A, this angle is 120, then 20 divided into two parts. This angle will be 60 degree. The 60 equals 60, they are alternate angles. So now we can write here, answer. Number C, answer, sorry, answer, question number C. First, at the point C, at the point C, we get here four angles they are uh, the first one this one g p d g p d then second one you can mention this one D, P, E, D, P, E, and then using comma here, the next one, C, P, E, C, P, E, and finally, that's next one, G, P, C, G, P, C, review again, at the point C we get here, four angles and they are G, they are G, P, D, D, P, E and C, P, E next one G, P, C and the four angles now we will find their values in degree the second question values in degree now we have to find their measures. Okay, the first one we can write here. Uh, C D and C D and E F are two parallel lines are two parallel lines see there are two parallel lines and eg eg 
intersect CD at P. Then, then P E F. P E F angle, or we can write here C P E C P E angle equal C P E angle equal P E F P E F, which equal and this angle value is 60 degree so that's why this one will be 60 degree you can write here alternate angles alternate angles so <clears throat> uh, I think is there any problem okay uh, dear students Within a short time, we will complete our class. Dear students, give attention. After complete this one, we will close our class. Uh, this is the 60 degree angle. Is it clear now? Okay, sir. It's clear now to you. Okay. Ah. Again, a GPD. GPD equal vertically opposite of uh, GPD is vertically opposite of CPE. CPE, which is also 60 degree. Two answers complete. These two angles complete. Now, DPE. DPE angle. Sub. Is, is a DPE angle is a supplementary angle of DPE angle is a supplementary angle of CPE. CPE. So we can write here DPE angle will be 180 minus 60 degree. That is 120 degree. 120 degree. And finally, the remaining angle. The last line you can write here again again the final angle G P C again the angle again angle G P C GPC equal vertically opposite of vertically opposite of angle DPE vertically opposite of angle DPE equal if this angle is 120 degree if this angle is 120 degree, this one will be 120 degree. And this is our answer. 
the first angle value there are two angles are 60 degree the two angles are 60 degree and two angles will be 120 and 120 and total angles will be 360 degree so now not clear sir i think is there any problem Okay, my dear students, and this is our final answer. Question number A, B, and C here. In our next classes, we will discuss from algebraic part. Our exercise 6.1 is complete. In our last exam, Trust Online Creative Question exam, we have done theorems number 1 and theorems number 2. And the remaining remaining part was on that time the parallel line and the questions related with the parallel lines. Today we will complete it. We have completed the parallel lines. So from next classes we will discuss from algebraic part. My dear students, please do comment. Is it clear to you or not? If you have any questions, please do comment. I will discuss as far as you demand. So my dear students, question number C, is it clear to you or not? Please do comment. I think question A, B and C, I think the question is too clear to you. You can mention your name, yes or not. And if you have no questions, we will leave our class within a short time. Already is uh, 5, 10 p.m. My dear students, please do comment. Is it clear to you or not? Okay, sir, it's easy. No questions. Already you are trying to write. Inshallah, we will discuss our next class tomorrow at 4 p.m. Uh, we will start from algebraic part, inshallah. And after completing the one topics from algebraic part, then we will start arithmetic part. Our exercise 6.1 and today complete. And later we will discuss exercise 6.2. So my dear students, thank you very much to enjoy this tutorial. And you can practice these creative questions at home. And if you have any questions, you just feel free to ask me any question inshallah i will discuss as far as your demand so hopefully see you all tomorrow classes assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah don't forget to subscribe triangular kamal